Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome to Monday Musings, where I spend a little bit of time sharing with you some of the wonderful humans I got to interview for my book, The Voice Coach's Toolkit. And I'm really honored to share with you some wisdom from Kristen Linklater today. I had the honor of uh, spending a little bit of time with her during COVID on Zoom uh, prior to her passing. Kristen has contributed to so many people. She taught my teacher, Meg Wilbur, so I learned from her that way. She wrote the book, Freeing the Natural Voice, and she set up the Linklater Center in Orkney, Scotland. So you probably wouldn't have to look very far to know somebody who knows of Kristen's work or has worked with her or some teachers who have worked with her. So a favorite quote I have when we were talking about executives, she shared this quote with me. What you're bringing to the corporate world and to the executive thinking is to be creative and imaginative. And then that's what lights up the voice. That's what feeds the voice. It's your creativity. It's your personal commitment and it's your imagination. We all have a creative being within us, and sometimes we forget about that creative energy as executives. And we forget that, that even people like Einstein, who was such a genius, was totally imaginative and playful. One of the things I suggest to my executives to help them reconnect to their playful nature is to read children's stories. Now, you don't have to have children to read children's stories, but if you do, it's a two for one. And what's really cool about reading children's stories is it opens up your imagination and it opens up your voice. So uh, I thought I would demonstrate for you. When my son was really little, he loved Thomas the Tank Engine. And this was one of my favorite books to read to him. And I would go, Henry sneeze. One lovely sun Saturday morning, Henry was puffing along. The sun shined, the fields were green and the birds sang, Henry had plenty of steam in his boiler, and he was feeling happy. I feel so well, I feel so well, he sang. So if you're a coach, I encourage you to ask your clients to pick up a kid's book and read it to their kids or read it aloud. And if you're a curious human, do the same. Pick up a young adult book or a kid's book and just try being playful with it. Nobody's going to judge you, and it allows you to find more creativity and more sound and imagination and playfulness in your voice. I'd love to hear how this might be working for you, or hey, any kid book recommendations? I have a collection myself. Put those in the comments below, and until next time, have a marvelous Monday.